Winnie the Pooh was founded in 1942 <laughs> with a long big quill and a buck made of egg yolk. <laughs> with music by Nubu and graphics by Wong Chu. <laughs> Here's some Winnie the Pooh trivia. The Holy child God. human known as Christopher Robin was based on the writer's Robin. Guess what, guys? John Dilworth, uh, his Kickstarter succeeded, and we're, we're doing the voices for his new Courage show. The runs blood of an my, angel. Runs through my veins. Tover, you runs have the blood of an angel runs through my veins Jesus. tattooed on your back. Do you remember when that thing almost killed Gwen Stacy in Spider-Man 3? Did that really happen? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember the guy looks up and he goes, that's Gwen! That's gonna crush her! Yeah, I don't think I've seen Spider-Man 3 in a long time. Well, silly. well, Spider-Man says, like, seven times in the movie, he says, Gwen's gonna get squished. They keep saying it. Yeah, it's foreshadowing. <laughs> Gwen's gonna get squished! <laughs> it's like the first, line, it's the first line of the movie. Hey, I'm Peter Parker. Gwen's gonna get squished, and I'm enjoying my life as Spider-Man. She goes, oh, Peter, shut up. You're so silly. Let's get some coffee. <laughs> she, he goes, you're gonna get squished. I know it. I saw it in a dream. I want you to lick my tongue twice in a row, in fact. Okay. <laughs> what, what, when we went, when the three of us went to Waterworld, and Tomar went to the Lazy River and threw up on his belly and got kicked out. <laughs> that's what I knew. I, I, that's what I knew. This guy was my friend. I said, anybody, anybody that crazy? That was really nice, Tomar. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I'm just if I had imagine you like tunneling through the uh, dirt like a worm. Yeah. Do you, oh. do you have an idea what my, that might sound like? But, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty. Good. That's a pretty good. You know what? Can I tell you something? Yeah. That's like very worm-like. Like worm-esque. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Have you ever read the book, Worm Farm? Is that I was one? trying to think of... Okay, Where the legitimately... Worm to love the man what was the, the one with the bully who the ate worm? the worms? It was like a big deal. It was you like... You were the bully that ate the worm? No, it was, like a, it was like a bully who ate worms. It was like a big deal. I don't know what it's the fuck it was Lord called. Lord of the Worms. Was it? I don't no. think it was a Goosebumps It was book. called Wormy Wormer. Well, there was this. There was the famous story about the guy who didn't realize he was a worm until he looked in a mirror. Oh yeah, two. Uh, he went his whole life thinking he was a man, and then somebody finally said, "You're a worm." The worm went, amorphosis. What? Yeah, worm of, worm of the worlds. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Instead worm of, of the worlds. Instead of war of the worlds, like a worm. worm <laughs> okay, earth, this is earth this, is, this is done, dude. I'm fucking <laughs> losing my mind. Tomer, you want to hear some fucked up lore? Sure. Did you know then Lord of the Rings, Gollum is related to Aragorn? No. Isn't that crazy? I thought it, Gollum was a hobbit. Yeah, but he's related to Aragorn. <laughs> but Aragorn's a human. I know, but hobbits and men are not too distant. Yeah, like how how many generations apart are they? Must be a lot, I don't know. Then it, how could they be closely related? I don't- that, In the world of Lord of the Rings- Everything is related. Everything, everything is, is related. And then at, at the end of the Lord of the Rings- This is not a joke. At the end of the Lord of the Rings, they literally write down that, and then all of the races fucked and became one, and that's what we are today. So everything in the past was there, was that, was them. <laughs> but then we, they all became us. So we are the average of all of the races of yes. from from a uh, Hobbit world, and from that's why Aragorn Middle and Gollum Earth. are related. Doesn't make no sense. This to might me. be it. I think the final. Did you know that Gandalf used to be a Gollum? What? Well, Gandalf is a type of Gollum. <laughs> You guys are lying now. <laughs> Gollum is not even. A, Gollum is a singular entity. Gandalf is a type of Gollum. It's the stupidest <laughs> sentence I've ever heard. <laughs> oh look, it's Norway. I like that there's a race of Gollums in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Did I tell you I downloaded a art demographic? What is this thing? And I submitted them to a website where where it uh, generates an AI of your demographic, depending on what it is, like what your demographic is most lo likely to look like. Here it is. Oh my god, that's real. Yeah. Uh, well, people online send us uh, very you know pictures of yourself next to that. If that's if that's real, then. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Well, Chris, you were also told me like you know. We were downloading the, the the information of all the viewers, like their addresses, their credit card numbers, uh, their all families the, and friends, families and friends, all their all the social media, every comment they've ever made on every social media account, even the ones they thought that were anonymous. Yeah, and so they're like prescriptions. The prescriptions, stuff. what 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 their what their families on. Uh, we have everything. Oh, I made myself turn yeah, invisible it's awesome for a second. What you can get now. So here's the deal: if you don't buy this right here, this is the new thing we're selling. If you don't buy this, 
Let's just say it might be leaked by let's say, let's say there might be a little mistake. <laughs> a little accident. <laughs> Did I ever tell you what happened to my brother? I was nope. sloppy. He was like a bird? Yeah, a bird. When we were in a, a car when we were younger, our, we were on the way to get a tire swing. And when we got to the place, it was like on this dusty hill, and he got into the tire like just to sit in it, see if he liked it, and started rolling yeah. down the hill towards our car, which the door was open. Yeah, yeah. And just sliced his head clean off. Oh, yeah, okay, they don't hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you ever tell a story about how you actually convinced me when we like like the? Do you have the a first, fake brother? Did I convince Bert? you? You convinced me like within the first year when Chris, we started you have talking. Chris, you a fake brother? Yeah. No, when I first started talking to Chris, like 2010, I, never knew. I made that up for you. You did. That's I how that happened. That. That's how that happened. He, I, yeah. He, no, but the thing is, the lie Why was not. The lie that? was not even as ridiculous as that. The lie when he told me that was like, oh yeah, I have a brother Bert, and the lie was that he was really good at swimming and you were jealous. <laughs> That was the only lie, and he never laughed or said just kidding. He mentioned it casually, and then like like nine months later, I was like I was like oh yeah something something. And I was like oh your brother. He's like what are you talking about? He's like your your brother who swims. His brother Bird. He's like what are you fucking talking about? So but it was like the b most believable regular like normal lie. So I had no <laughs> the gaslighting goes back so it far. It does. Yeah, it goes way beyond Hercules. It goes back to Bert O'Neill. Oh Herculon? What? Herculad. I convinced Zach that there was a character in Hercules called Herculad, and that he, he was, was a smaller, a smaller version. version of Hercules. <laughs> It's true, and I believed it. I'm usually, I'm usually pretty. Well, I usually have my wits about me. Okay. Kind of you told me about the butler that your mom and dad had that you called the slutler, right? And you used to like torment him and like. I uh, never had a butler. Tomar used to. He said he used to say. Well, number one, he comes from. He comes from wealth. He always says, "I come from money. I can do whatever I want." But, yeah. I never but he said, "I used to have a butler, and I used to torture that SOB. I used to." He said, "You peeled off his fingernails one time while he was sleeping." Well, I don't think that's even possible. How could he sleep that deeply? Uh, cause you, you ejected him with a, with a serum. This Before. is a plea to the audience. I have spent $14,000, including my life savings on Amiibos and rare Amiibo, Amiibo collectibles, including the Golden Mario, which I spent $12,000 for on eBay when it first came out. Uh. I am asking for your money and your time to please help me. This um, seems like an appropriate thing to start a GoFundMe <laughs> for. Yeah, I've seen I, stupider. Tomar's literally got a Amoeba shelf. Tomar, uh, I didn't want to bring this up on here, but you know the way Shenmue 3 just came out with your voice is in it, is in it and stuff? Yeah. You, you, you've seen the clip, right? Of your fuck up? Really? There's a clip yeah. of him fucking up? It's like that Oblivion thing where the, the, the in-game character's talking, but then it cuts to the lady being like, Oh wait, that was a bad take. One second. They, they got one of those they, for they you. They actually did leave in... Yeah. Well, that's not my fault. It was you being like, I shit my pants, I want to go home. Are you just lying? Yeah. <laughs> the guy goes, the guy goes, you can race these turtles. Oh, shit. Oh, that's my pants. Oh, excuse me. Do you have a napkin I shit myself? I can't use the toilet because I was singing in there and it clogged it all up. Oh, my pants. Oh. <laughs> you guys weren't just recording just now. Did you really think that could have happened? That would have been keep awesome. That. Don't I keep don't that. know. That's <laughs> <guess. laughs> my fault. <laughs> Fucking, do you remember the episode with the SSN and Ash has to trade his Butterfree for a, a rat? Stop, Chris. It's You're true. making shit up. No, it's not. And then he doesn't want to do the trade, so he blows the ship up. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's a fucking act of terrorism. Yeah. I was kidding. He was oh, like, I, no. I, 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 I hate Raticate. Fuck. I thought he. I'm gonna eradicate everyone on the boat. <laughs> yeah, America's a real shithole if you think about it. Well, my niece got bit. By, uh, my, my niece got done bit by a copperhead and died because of that. Wait, really? Yeah, she you might, had a niece that died. She, my my niece done got bit by a copperhead. You're fucking shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I would have believed it. You told me other weird stories that were true. My niece done got bit by a copperhead. <laughs> Shut up! Feel free to ignore this if you guys cannot relate. It, actually, anybody at home, tell me if you ever had this. It, I've only had two people ever say they can. Yeah, uh, go on, then say like it. This. Have you ever not uh, ejaculated for a while on uh, any kind of gross, but then you do it and it, it makes a sound? No. It goes. I'm not kidding. Zach, like, shut I'm up. not kidding. Shut up. It makes like a squirt sound. It's shut only happened up. once when I was. That's a cartoon. That is that's the not. That's the stupidest like, goddamn <laughs> shit I've ever heard. It's not big enough of a fucking mass of liquid to make any sound. It is. It's, no, 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 it's, no, it's not. not. It's not the amount of liquid. It's the. It's the power of it. You're a fucking scumbag. That's really. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, Zach? I will say some that's happened before. Sometimes I pee into the toilet yeah. and it makes a whistling sound. Kind okay, of. how is it any different though? I it's know. The, okay, it's the amount of liquid. It's like the pressure of it. <laughs> it's it's. <laughs> I just don't want to think about it. No, I'm not asking you to. I'm just saying, it's. A 
<laughs> You're a fucking liar. I don't believe that. I just don't believe you. <laughs> this is this is the thing where at the end you go, you fucking retard, you believe that? Fuck off. <laughs> you fucking dope. Somebody somebody some nice young black kid over in the comments is gonna go, that happened to me once, man. <laughs> Some nice person in the comments. Because he's got a group. fucking huge amount of comments. It happens to him daily. Dick. Yeah, hap he's got a big fucking sack, and that happens to him daily. But I'm just saying it's happened only once. And isn't that <laughs> frequent? Okay, let's get off this. We're fucking stupid. That's bad. I need to stop doing these bonus levels. How many times in your life have you cooned, and then you couldn't find where you cooned? That's hap that happens like one every like 14 times. Really? That no. That's happened to me twice <laughs> in my whole life. No, you're right. <laughs> you're that fucking up. idiot! <laughs> you're just lying about everything. No, that was a lie. The first days it was real, but that one... Uh, I... Maybe you could... Maybe, maybe... You fucking <laughs> asshole! You tried so fucking hard to push that. Well, anyway, go on. No, the first thing was real, I swear! Oh, Israel. Yeah, Toma. <laughs> I love that <laughs> shit! I'm a cool pro Fortnite gamer. Cool pro Fortnite. Take it. <laughs> That's genius. That kid. I wonder how old he is now. I think he's like 41 now. Did you know in the new CG Scooby movie, Shaggy is born from a tube? Hey, Chris. Wait, really? You're not, you're he's not, born you're from not, a no, tube? no, no. This is another fucking little Hercules thing, whatever. Hercules. This is born from a No, he's grown like a Russian <laughs> egg homunculus. Don't believe his lies. You ever see that movie? It's about Chris. Did All I ever right. tell you the guys the time I told Tomar this is some innocent joke? I forgot what it was. He grabbed my leg out of anger until it turned purple and wouldn't let go. And he was, has dug his nails into me a few he times. Dug, dude, he infected my leg with a bacterial infection because he squeezed <laughs> his we, nails. Can, so we not, deep can we not talk about this now? <laughs> like, everybody needs to know Clean about Clean your fucking my... fingernails, Tomar. <laughs> Tomar literally has long, green witch fingernails that have bacteria <laughs> swimming inside them. <laughs> Little amoebas. <laughs> it's like a, I'm like a Gila monster. <laughs> wait, 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 Tomar, you saw Black Mirror, right? I mean, I've, I've seen, I've Black seen Black most Black. of them, yeah. I saw the one with the Doge, right? The Robo Doge? <laughs> the one that's, like, black and white with the, the yes. dog following the lady. See, somebody on, tw somebody yeah. on Twitter, uh, after that video of the spot thing walking around, like, a couple days ago, like, we could go, whatever. Mm. Somebody tweeted, somebody was like, this looks like it's literally from Black Mirror. It's like, yeah, the Black Mirror episode's based on the fucking, <laughs> yeah. on that robot, you idiot. That episode was called Metal Doge, right? It was. Yeah. It was if I die, though, that's it. Have you seen that? Do you know Corridor Digital? Didn't they de-glove that guy in the accident? Yeah, they they were making yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't want to bring that up because they're good guys. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. They didn't mean for that. The spot, but the spot dog degloves somebody by ripping someone's skin off their hand. Yeah. Well, you know what? Fuck it. I hate the term <laughs> deglove and the fact that it's become a normal term in the last like <laughs> couple of years. I degloved my cock. <laughs> I decocked my. <laughs> I degloved my penis. <laughs> Mario was actually named after a man called Mario. <laughs> <laughs> We're speedrunning, we're speedrunning, we're like Cosmo. Mm -hmm. Let me in, let me in. <laughs> From Fairly Odd Parents? Yeah. No, the speedrunner. Cosmo, there was a story arc in that last season where he tried to be a speedrunner. <laughs> yeah, I'm a speedrunner! It's the same episode, he got pregnant. Went to a, a, a fun improv Wait, lesson. I need to read this. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe they taught us. We spent $600 each, but it Thank was you for rescuing me. Penny. And they taught us how to have fun. Why'd you go to improv? Because it made, it, now we're funnier. It made us better. Oh. So, like, they, 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 the main lesson they teach is, like, think of, think of anything in the world so then, and now pretend to be Do you know the story of Humpty Dumpty? They, they took all the I broken pieces. I would never thought of that. They uh. took all the broken pieces, they put us back together so and made us... Of all because you went we, to... we learned how to be funny the wrong way. They taught us the right way to do it. It was crazy. I'm falling behind. I need to pick up my pace. It was pace. like methodology. It was like, it was like yeah, me step, one, step one. Step one, imagine a crazy scenario. Step two, do like a silly voice. Do silly voice. voice. Yeah, that's a good one. Like, they showed us like, uh, uh, like you can do anything though. <laughs> that, was, that was what our instructor, that was like, but yeah. Wow, she, that she, one got a, me. She Wait, was a really nice married woman. Uh, she has five kids. She's got five kids. She's the freaking funniest woman you'll ever meet in your life. She's also the bravest person I know. Yep. She's, she's my she's hero. Why, she's doing it. She spit out you ever kids? see like a video of like a, like a GoPro of like an Iraq, like, go, go, go. And, like, yep. he's, She's more brave than that type of Because she's overweight and she's she doesn't care. She's going up in front of everybody. Doesn't give a. F doesn't give a. F <laughs> okay, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> she's overweight. <laughs> she's brave. <laughs> oh no, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> she's braver than all the fire. She said to, uh, her husband said she was braver than all the firefighters combined on 9/11. I don't agree with that. I think that's I do. I you know what? I take it back. I do. I think plus all the Benghazi people plus 
Anyway, what else did we learn from that fat bitch? Uh, we learned she is put down. She put down. Who are you guys talking about? She put down a whole freaking. Oh, yeah, I was about to say she put down a whole rotisserie right. chicken. She put down a whole rotisserie chicken. <laughs> she, 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 let's just say she lifted up a rotisserie chicken and she put down a skeleton of a bird. That's all. I, that's all I know. <laughs> that's so funny. And I'm saying it was. She is. And it wasn't graceful. And it wasn't graceful. I don't even know who she is, and I'm throwing shade in her way. I'm so sorry. I'm, well, Chris, woman. should we dox her? Should we say her name? Yeah. Uh, Rumple still skin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jeanette skin. Uh, honestly, that's and that, weird. And that yeah. professor's name was Rumple still skin. That's what the story is. And then they do the Irish step dancing. The river dance? Mm hmm. River dance was very big during that time period. Remember? I know. I'm Irish, sure. Irish, sure. Fucking queer. You know it's called river dance. What? Because they would go to the river and dance in the river. Ow. No, they did not. <laughs> it was a ritual because if you do stomp dancing like that, you can walk on water Fuck. for 10 seconds. They call it the river dance because you walk in the river and when you get out, you try shaking the water out of your shoe. Oh. Oh. That's so not true. it makes them true. look like simpletons now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it not true? I would have no. completely believed that. <laughs> it's something Irish. I would have believed it. Have you heard about this new trend of getting like outlines tattooed onto your body to look like a cartoon? Like how you, like, draw on the little seams on a Gundam with, like, a Sharpie? Yeah. But- but with your actual body? Like, <laughs> like, do people color in their, like, cheekbones? No, they- they get these, like, uh, you know, like, hair extensions? Uh-huh. They get these, like, stapled onto their skin, so it looks like there's outlines surrounding their body from a certain angle. Is this real? Yeah. That's insane, you have to show me some of that later. Sorry, man, it doesn't- it doesn't exist. Oh. <laughs> You guys shouldn't believe the word I said. I didn't! <laughs> you did, kinda. I did. <laughs> did you know how pipe organs work? No. I actually don't. The people playing, they have to smoke a pipe while they play, or, or their creative juices that's won't flow. That's a lie. No, that's true, that's true. <laughs> I read that on, uh, the internet. Yeah. It was on pipeorganlore.org. <laughs> pipe organ backstory lore. <laughs> D dot web. Don't all didn't all pipe organs or maybe all pipe organs do they do they have any sort of like water component to so, them? No, the real the real way they work because I looked at this. Isn't recently. there like steam involved? Yeah, so a little bit. So basically, there's like a steam mechanism. It goes up to the top, but at the bottom, beneath. Generally, this is the, the old way, not the new way. But the old way was you'd have the steam thing, but on the bottom you'd have a bunch Ooh, of fa a bunch of fat guys blowing air. <laughs> So that's what was causing all the music to come out. <laughs> For a second I thought I was gonna learn something. <laughs> that guy's blowing air. That guy's blowing air through tubes underneath the ground. Have you seen the video of Prince Probably. Charles sneezing and a, like a little like... A little kind of fetal sack like blooms out of his ear for a few seconds and gets sucked back in as Excuse he starts me? talking. Excuse me? What? What? Yeah, where he's now just like- I, Now I don't believe you. No, why would you I'm not believe you. that? <laughs> I wouldn't. Because of the corgi. You don't believe a little fetal egg bloom, bloomed out of his ear? No, I don't. <laughs> and then sucked back in? No. It going boom, like that. I'm not gonna be tricked by you anymore, Chris. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tomer. Tomer, what exactly makes us a pawn? Hmm? What do you mean a pawn? Why do you call us pawns? I never called you pawn. You always refer to us as pawns in your big game and your big master plan. <laughs> you say you say I don't see people with emotions and families and lives. I see pawns. <laughs> I see I see movable objects which can be manipulated in my hands. And, I am writing a book, and, and if you want to check yeah. that out when it's released, I think it'll it'll give you more perspective on why I why I see you all that way. Every time I let you borrow something, you're like, that's called castling. I've yeah. done it again. That's called castle? <laughs> like, I'm always referring to chess? Is that...? Yeah, I would assume. I don't know. I, I haven't read the fucking book, apparently. Tovar will always often give me a free Coca-Cola and say, you understand the law of reciprocity, right? This is a classic persuasion technique. You see, I give you something, and now you, in turn, feel indebted to me. So now I want you to help clean up my apartment, and I say, all right, dude, I guess, that, that is a pretty good argument. He's used that on me, my visiting <laughs> family, uh, my friends. He did that on my seven-year-old little cousin. He had, he had my little cousin, <laughs> he had him cut oh, his yeah, hedges. Oh yeah, I had her wash all the dishes. I actually made her wash them twice because she did such a shitty job the first time. You made, you made little Umar do that? You, little Umar, Umar Hadel. Why would my cousin be called Yumar? <laughs> you Yumar Hadel. Uh, because he's played the game on your f***ing aunt, dude. He was in the delivery room. 
holding her hands for 14 hours while she delivered that child. And he said, yeah. I request but one thing in return for this. They weren't called Yumar until he gave him the coke and then they changed it. <laughs> Tomer, you said you did some meth before we started recording, right? No, I didn't. I did not say that. <laughs> I've never done that before. You're, you're, you're like a meth head, right? Tomer's been saying he's been like trying meth up for the last few. He's like, he's been dabbling with meth. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Really, Stop it's kind of fucking crazy. Character. It's kind of crazy. The, the news media it's... lies to you. I've actually been getting a lot of work done. I am going to sue you all for <laughs> slander. Slender. Remember that one time we all went to the gun range and Tomar, like, he dropped his phone over the side on purpose, was like, Jaxie, can you go get that real quick? Oopsie doopsie, did it, I drop that into the open firing range? There was never an incident where I tried to murder my wife. <laughs> uh, uh, there was and never an incident where like I even went accident. with you. You should have said that first. <laughs> That's true. You've, you've never been shooting with me, Chris. Yeah. Tomer, you used to run a really popular server back in the day. I don't know if I'd call it really popular, but I did run a server. But every time I went in there, there was like 68 million children running around. Yeah. Screw me. <laughs> I think it, on Tomer, average Tomer, there were Tomer maybe a couple dozen. To, to steal all their information. <laughs> Did this, not. Was, this was before COPPA, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You stop accu publicly accusing me of violating COPPA. Well, this, this was in 2011. <laughs> I would never accuse you of violating COPPA in 2019. Oh, I, yeah. I also just noticed one of her eyes is like half closed. That's cool, too. It's like you, Julian. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you make fun of my glass eye. <laughs> I'm so glad we finally mentioned it. <laughs> it's, been that, it's been the elephant in the room for so long. Everybody, I, I lost my eye, like... 15 years ago. What happened again? I, I fell down and uh, a stick, like there was just happened to be a, a sapling in the ground and the stick went in and it just punctured my eye. Grew a whole Sparks. tree in his eye. The tree still, yeah. the tree grew and it still has his eye Do at the top. Thing I, I still remember sitting in the hospital for like five months. Do your thing where you pop it out. Oh. <laughs> That's cute. Oh man. Yeah, pass it around. <laughs> Give everybody else a taste. <laughs> that is Donald Trump. Wait, is it really? No. This is it's a sunset. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I can't, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> those two guys should have a movie. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. Wait, One what? of those guys actually fell into a wood grinder. Really? Yeah. That's terrible. Was it on purpose? Did he die or just get injured? He, he lost his body from his toes to his neck. Oh, wait, wait a minute. That would be everything but his head. He couldn't still be alive. He wasn't. He died. All right, then. <laughs> was any part of that true? The yeah. camera zooms in on his head at the top of the ground. Say, yeah, was Can't it, believe you've done this. Did it, <laughs> he didn't really get caught in a wood chipper. No. You made uh, that up. I made that up. Okay? Sometimes you gotta make up things for funniness to happen. <laughs> you should get your prostate tickled soon, Chris. <laughs> tickled? You ever had a prostate exam? Yeah. Have you really? Yeah, I've had a few. Are you serious? The doctor would get up on his ladder and he'd dangle a weight down on a rope into my anus. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine it being like a string, at the, and then a really long string, and then at the end it's like one of those Chris pointy Christmas ornaments. <laughs> And he has a little camera on the end of it. And it just it just kind of gently wiggles its way in. Then he pushed the button and you'd see like a little lump in the wire go all the way down the string and into my ass. I stuck my uh, I stuck my ass in the air and my, my doctor would bungee jump and it would just be the perfect <laughs> distance for his hand to go into my ass, kick my prostate and then go back up. <laughs> He'd go up on a crane and bungee jump. <laughs> so, I'm trying to imagine that doctor's office is like 400 feet tall. <laughs> no, he just, he had, a, he had a whole part of the ceiling removed. So it's like Imagine you, if the bungee cord broke. You walk in <laughs> and he has his hand out and just <laughs> You walk into his office and there's just an open sky with a crane. Yeah, he, well he doesn't even need to bungee jump, he could skydive into it. You could just stand at the top of the crane and just Why drop he pennies. A cable? How's he gonna get so out? that he can come out again. You just climb out. He doesn't what need do a bungee at all. Out? He can just drop things from that distance How and watch. Is it he doesn't need to do that. He can just stick his hand up the dude's ass. <laughs> How loose is it in there? Allegedly, the guy who made this game apparently uh, is the first guy to break through and create a conscious AI, and he put it in all the characters <laughs> in this game. Every character you see here is fully sentient. Did you know that the average male's reaction to seeing gay sex initiates the same response in the brain as seeing maggots? 
I guess because it rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> Whose brain are we talking? Uh, normal straight people. Oh, normal. Yeah, normal. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. No, ah! Normal sane people. You did. I didn't mean That's it like that. That's why you brought it up. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, you gotta know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Please be on my side. <laughs> Please don't throw me under the <laughs> bus here. Did you know that when the moon landing happened, uh, Richard Nixon wrote a letter in preparation to deliver in case they failed? Really? Yeah. What did it say? It said, uh... Ah! <laughs> the asteroid's done! <laughs> Fuck! You know what? I like the music in this game. Thanks, man. I made it all myself. You you did that? Yep. Uh, did about a weekend, actually. Well, then who mixed it? <laughs> uh, me too. I did that also. Okay, well then what's the compressor do? Hmm? Uh, makes it sound like good and stuff. Um, that is true. Well, okay, what does the See? equalizer do? See? See, you can't ask people questions because I was right now. What does an equalizer do? What does reverb do? It makes it sound even, even better, even more better than it would have if, uh, if it did. I can't argue that. I guess you're right. No, you can't. You can't. There's nothing you can do about that. What does a bathalyzer do? Answer me that. Yeah. A bathalyzer? Yeah, a bathalyzer. What does well, it do? I know, I know Saddam Hussein belonged to the bath party. B A. I think, I believe he's spelled B A A T H. You got you there, Lyle, you stupid asshole. And I think, and I think, I think there's an apostrophe kind of in the middle between the two A's. I think kind of like a ma'am. You know, M A apostrophe A A M. You know. And you got it all right. We believe you. Are you guys See? ready? All right, he's See? he's a music that's, that's producer a, that's for a hundred, sure. That's a hundred for a hundred. Yeah. Sorry that we doubted you. It's all right. I'm just kind of pissed off now. I'll never forgive you and I'll hold the vendetta forever, but I'm fine. Well, okay, our boy. What does a pencil do? Look, man, I don't know everything in this world. <laughs> and, I'm not and I'm not prepared to answer something I'm not qualified to speak on. You don't know how to animate 3D. I can animate all 3D on the world. You ever hear about that woman who had a, a bug in her ear and she didn't know about it? And she started thinking like really scary things, and then when they removed the bug, she was back to normal? This sounds, that that sounds a little urban mythy. It is completely made up. Okay. But okay. If you rest your laptop on your uh, packer while you're using it, it goes it, up. It radiates your sperm and makes your babies come out like Quasimodo. <laughs> Isn't it? That's what a nurse told me. You know, they added physics to these little windows now. The ball. What do you mean they when, added physics? Like to they're it. heavy. Like you can add mass to like. <laughs> you're gonna throw your fucking back out, dude. Stop. <laughs> Let me get the other end of it. Just fucking put it down. Put it, Chris. Put it down. You're gonna. <laughs> God damn it. It's even set on the side. Two person lift. Tobar has covertly, aka secretly, ripped down 15 statues with his pickup truck. <laughs> I've seen him do it. He does it at night time. <laughs> his pickup <laughs> truck. <laughs> The vigilante's never been caught, but I know he does it. Have you seen the video of that huge fat guy that went around furry conventions oh. and he was like walking Shoes up behind furries and coming on them? <laughs> no, that's not real. It is. <laughs> he was coming on them? Yeah, he was walking up to like people in fursuits and coming on them like without them knowing. At like during the convention? Like when they're all just like sitting around like in like little groups in the hallways. Just like sort of wiping his jizz on them. No, real just, quick he just like and... runs up and like And they don't you know, notice? Yeah, they're wearing like five layers of fucking yeah, they were like parkas. Yeah. Uh, They're wearing their furry burkas. Was this like an e-fuck video? Or Fur their furkas. Where did you find that? Uh, I made it up, sorry. Oh, that, <laughs> that sounds real. I haven't seen Robot Chicken, I think, in like 10 years. Well, Tomar and I were debating like two or three days ago. Uh, what were we debating? In front of the audience, we were debating between Robot Chicken season 13 and 14. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that. In front of that huge crowd. Is yeah. it still going? Yeah. They, were, they really ate that up, though. That's Your crazy. crowd went wild, let's just say that. I think most people agreed with me that, I mean, uh, you have to admit I got a couple of big points in there though that, that made the audience think twice. Think twice about the superiority about of, your, of, of your season? That's exactly right. That <laughs> there were a couple of moments that indicated that to me. I can't even remember which of us was fighting for 13 and which was fighting for 14, but I remember it got heated. It got ugly at some points. <laughs> you had to be escorted out. Well, that's... That's just on account of that that fan that got a little out of hand, and I just had to kind of teach him a you lesson. Shot, you shot him with your eighteen hundreds no, revolver. Nobody else seemed to like see it the same way I did. You but shot I, him he with really he, he shot him with your flint pistol. He he seemed like he hadn't had a talking to in a long time. That's <laughs> all I'm trying to say. Did you know that Jim Cummings calls up children in hospitals and puts on the Winnie the Pooh voice, and he says, <laughs> "You're going to die." <laughs> 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 I'm sure he doesn't do that last part. <laughs> <laughs> ha, 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 ha. 
<gasps> you ever see that like test that the guy did where, where he's got the the fake little toy car with the trailer behind him and he's got a little rat riding in the car and he does a test to show that like the positioning of the luggage in one will completely make the car swerve out of control. You say like if the thing behind the car does that? Yeah, you gotta yeah. pack the luggage closer to the car or more heavy towards. Because if you do it all the way at the back, oh, it oh, starts. It'll saying. make you fishtail. Yeah, yeah, yeah it makes yeah. you swing all over. And there's a little rat in the video, and he <laughs> dies. The rat dies. Yeah. Wait, what is, do you mean? Is he like a little motorcycle mouse? Yeah, he's a little rat. They stuck in the car. It's a real rat. Yeah. What do you wait? You say they? What the fuck is this called? Rat drives car. They put a real rat in the thing to kill it to show an experiment. Yeah. Because they couldn't afford the dummies because they cost on. like seven hundred dollars. Hang on, Jill. Red, dr oh. red, dr red drives car. Maybe. Oh, look! Now you're stable. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. You finally get to attach the whole trailer. Okay, Zach. Should I take a red drives car? I may have lied about the rat. Yeah, I fucking knew there was a rat. That did not make any sense. Milkman seventy four. <laughs> that did not make any sense. <laughs> Milkman seventy four. I did. I was defeated. like, I was looking it up. Uh, anybody out there? I am asking. Who will? I'm selling oh anybody God. a. A Jeb Bush Funko Pop, and anybody that wants to buy, <laughs> please email my email address. I, I want to buy that. Wait, I want it. Yeah. Did you know? Did you this, know? Uh, this model was based off of Sonic's original girlfriend, Pauline. So where you said the word idiot about 730 times in the last two hours. Why does it say you're level points? zero, Chris? Um, I think zero is like rank S. It's did you, like did you know the you look, ultimate rank. You if know? you look back, the word gravity was not used until 2005. <laughs> Talking about nobody even used the word gravity before then. Uh, what about Isaac they just, Neutron? They just called it. He said stuff falls down. I don't know why. <laughs> I was rewatching um, Breaking Bad recently. Yeah. Dude, there's an episode that is so sad. The one where like uh, Walter makes Jesse eat the worm to get on the bus. You remember that episode? Yeah. For his loyalty. Oh, I used to hate that episode. I thought it would like it stood out. Like it was kind of weird, but we're, we're, the more I Walter says, you have to eat the worm. Just you yeah, know, it's it's like yeah. you have to eat the worm. It seems like it's just like a bullshit filler episode, but it's more so of like good character it's development. It's just like good character development. Like it's just the back and forth of those two characters together. I think. Have you seen Flight of the Navigator? You ever seen the? Uh, That's better. What's that about? It's about a little boy who gets abducted into a spaceship. He flies around the world real you quick. You are literally a fucking psychopath for making that up. <laughs> That's real. That's real. <laughs> that is not real. That is real. Watch Flight of the Navigator. It's fucked what up. What year is it from? Uh, 1922. No, 80-something. 80 80, 88, probably. What's the plot? Uh, it's a little boy. He, he walks out into the woods. He gets abducted by an alien. And then he gets put back into where he was. But everyone's way older now. That's He's a really bad- that's actually a genuinely bad idea for a movie. <laughs> He's still a little boy and everyone's way older. I thought older. you said it was about flying around the world. He is, he gets abducted by oh. it twice. What? Why? That's a- Cause it loves him or something. Wait, 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 you're telling me the plot is that a little boy gets abducted, there's like- there's like 10 minutes of that. Yeah. When he comes back, everyone's like 50 years older. Yeah, his brother's like 10 and years older And then the movie just ends, yeah. No. What happened? Is that like no, the, is that is that Act One or is that like the middle of the movie? Yeah, Act One is uh he gets abducted, gets put back, everyone's older. Act two is he gets abducted again, and Act Three is he saves the world somehow. I forget. Did you guys see that clip of uh, uh Banjo Kazooie getting uh announced at the Nintendo store in New York, and all the all the dudes started screaming like, "Yes!" Have you seen that? I yeah. did. Yeah. Have you seen the aftermath video where they're all like asleep on the ground? No. Because they all ex exhaled so much air that it filled CO2 into the room too quick, and they all passed out. Are what? you serious? Yeah. That's awesome. That, is that very? Is that real? <laughs> oh. <laughs> God damn it! How can you believe such nonsense? That sounded so smart. <laughs> What the heck? Heck? It's trickier than this shit. Uh. Well, we should be getting the cookies. I actually forgot about that. Yeah, yeah they upgrade upgrades, your shit. Yeah, it's not just for show, dude. That's really. It's not okay. I know. It's not okay. And I thought, and I've been sending you death text threats. messages, death threats about that. <laughs> <laughs> I see you have not responded to my prior death threats. <laughs> what was the last time you sent a really good death threat? Uh, last week, actually. What did you say? Well, I don't want to get into it, but basically, somebody defied me, and I really just had to put a stop to it. Does, does that make sense when I say that? I feel like that's the normal, like, like as a man. Yeah, as a man, somebody defies you. As somebody, a human male, you if somebody, need... If somebody insults your lineage... <laughs> 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 if, somebody, if, somebody, if somebody insults any ancestor you've had within the last 1,000 years, you're entitled to uh, duel them. Yeah. I always liked it. this room. It's because it's fantastical. I like, yeah. Yeah, it's the it's the drown house. <laughs> I like the idea that up in the sky somewhere there's a there's a big house 
with windows Brilliant. that you can look in and it's, it's full in Texas. of water. This is how they execute people now. It's more humane. <laughs> is that an actual... Yeah. Is, that, is that from the news? Yeah, they take yeah, them they to the drown house. They put you in the drown house, humor? carry you into the heavens and drop it down. <laughs> <laughs> so do you die from from landing, or do you die from suffocation? If the drowning don't kill you, the gravity will. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Okay, just the ah. nice, nicest, most free shit. Oh my god, it felt Do you so feel lighter? Yeah, Is it like taking off your weighted clothing? I floated, I floated from my bathroom to my desk, uh, because <laughs> the shit that expelled my body was so evil. And it weighed me down, it weighed me down physically. And it weighed me down mentally. And it weighed me down emotionally, if you want to know the truth. I'm just glad you're back, man. <laughs> Tomer, you see these two things here? That's the, that's the that's instead of your Tomer's, underpants, That's what Tomer's dude. undies look like, yeah. <laughs> Jaxie literally pulled away and went, <laughs> Yeah, guys, when this camera goes off, we... Uh, we, we, we Listen, you we, always say stuff. <laughs> No, no, no. It's a joke. He set it up. He I said know, it's interesting. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a joke. I know it's a, It's just what we've done a bunch. Well, Tomar, as you always say, the real joke is our fans. I don't say that. You say it and you curl your toes while you say it, so it's definitely true. Guys, I promise you when Tomar delivers you your prize card that he currently owns, he's not going to be mean to you. And I won't be crinkling my toes. He's not going to be crinkling his toes. The Tomar Mobile. Tomar wrote a manifesto where he said he wants to wear a diaper on live TV and, and, and give a crinkle hurt across the world. Now, what, is, what could that mean? <laughs> the crinkle hurt across the world. Are you talking about the Tomar manifesto incident? Yeah, the Tomar manifesto. The to manifesto. Where it ends with, my crinkle will be heard, period. <laughs> This, my crinkle will this be This is the worst. <laughs> why do you why do you set poor Tomar up like this? You're right. I've already accused him of writing a manifesto wearing a diaper and giving his car away. That's scary. That's not fair. Uh, yeah, we we've been playing this game for all of like five minutes. <laughs> not even. Tomar got that crazy look in his Ooh. eye. Yeah. He looked like a madman. I did to I saw the you know, the lights were on but no one was home. I knew something was wrong. <laughs> Tomar Tomar's been trying out this new medication, you know? Yeah, Tomar's been telling me every day he's been on this new medication. He hadn't been the same since he just got a different look in his eye, like like oh, the lights are on, but no one's home. <laughs> Ever since he started that new medication for you know <laughs> thing. Ah, Velvet Blue, my favorite film. Not really though. I've never seen it. I was watching Joe Rogan, and he was interviewing a guy who who, who planted a bomb in a building. I forget which one, but yeah. the guy who planted the bomb in the building was laughing as he talked about it. Wait, wait, how was he not in trouble? Wait, was it an evil building? Because he's, he's like on the run. Wait, what? Wait, yo, wait, what are you talking about? He was on the run from the government. And wait, he happened. did the podcast? Yeah. It was really weird. I, I don't think that is that- That's real. That's- that version of that- so you're Did saying, he say it was cool that he put a bomb there, or- Oh, well, no, sorry, no, it was halfway through, Joe Rogan was like, uh, he was talking about it, and then the guy was like, yeah, I'm still on the run, and then Joe Rogan started sweating profusely. And laughing and joking with him. No, and he was just like, should we- what- what, what should we do here? And then, then it just kind of cuts out. You're full of shit. <laughs> this is a stupid story. Why did I even go that far? I was like, he's had people on that have gone to jail and stuff. I'm like, get over that. That was stupid. That was too stupid. The guy planted a bomb. What are you talking about? <laughs> At least I got what somewhere with it. Yeah, I, got, you got I was it. making it up on the fly. I was the one sweating profusely. I am orange and I step away. He's orange. <laughs> he is orange in that video. Go he's to Chocolate Blood. Rain. Look how orange he is. Look, he's pure orange. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's very he's orange. really brightly lit. And it's also amazing when the camera cuts to his hands and you realize that he's a fucking prodigy on the keyboard. Wait. Are he's you, playing Are you that. serious? He's yeah. playing? When, when it cuts to his hands, you won't believe your eyes. Chocolate rain. I don't believe you. No, I swear on my freaking soul. His arms are moving. I know! Yes, they are. Yes, I know, they are. Tomar! Yes, they are. It's insanity. You're lying. No, it's a, I'm not. It's I'm a trick not. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. It's a trick cutaway. It's not. No, no, stop. Hey, stop. Gosh. Look. I freaking told okay, you. Okay, but it's not from. It's a. It's a separately recorded <laughs> no, thing. Uh, nope. <laughs> he's seated there. <laughs> that's the second. That's he's the, up, He's hanging from the fucking ceiling upside <laughs> down. <laughs> yeah, Tomo, you like look, you're looking at right side up. He's like Glados for Portal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just integrated with, the, with this computer and he's just hanging out of it. Right, he's just stop a torso. Let's watching Tay Sunday for heaven's sake. Guys, we're speed running. We're already in the world lead right now. This is the world record, huh? Yep. Hey, look, I'm going real quick. I'm going. <laughs> It's okay, you still got it. I mean, yeah, it was part of the fun. You. Yeah. It, you went pretty fast there. That's a speed strat. You know the band Alien Ant Farm? Yeah. 
Yeah. Did you know, did you know that guy, the the way they got that, the man got that name is they had like a, like when the, guy, when the main guy was living in his apartment, he woke up to a bunch of ants crawling in and out of his dick, and that is what gave him the uh, the name for the band. Because <laughs> he apparently was like leaving apples and trash and banana peels all over his apartment. And so when he saw ants swarming in and out of every hole... So he is that, the alien ant farm after he's all this? The alien, yeah, he is the alien ant farm. That's what gave him the name. That's scary, man. Does it make sense, though, when I say that? It about does. The ants crawling? Yeah, like no. Like, when I say ants, ants were crawling out of every, like, his ears and his nose and his mouth and his, his you know, his, his you-know-what You know, it's so easy to get turned around in these levels. Half the time I'm, like, paranoid that I've gone backwards. Come on, did you just eat a moth? You did, did I just it. eat a moth? <laughs> I'm not kidding. I just saw a moth in your mouth and I, need, I think it just crawled in your mouth. I'm not kidding. Jesus. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Not, I, I'm not kidding at all. <laughs> moth was on your lip, and you like you, 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 you like you <laughs> Did you really? I, I didn't notice it. <laughs> if that just, happened, you just fucking swallowed the little. How can you? Moth. This, the, we don't even have the lights on in this room right now. From the glint of the How TV. How did you not taste a moth on your mouth? <laughs> How do you know Zach did not just make this up on the fly? <laughs> That's true. He probably did. No, I, because I said you ate a moth on a fly, Toma. Have you seen the video of the twenty-year-old, uh, or not twenty, twenty-foot uh, high school girl? What? She was not twenty feet. She is. Krishna, she was not. There's no fucking way. <laughs> the tallest person ever was like, like, no, she's like twenty nine feet. feet. Okay, dude. <laughs> I mean, I kind of thought that you were hyperbolizing anyway, but. <laughs> <laughs> 20 feet. Hawkeye is kind of not as good as the other Avengers. I noticed that personally, but... Hawkeye put a gun into his wife's mouth. In real life, the actor. Yeah, he really did. A, yeah, there's a rumor that she said did that really? she... really? I'll fucking <laughs> say it to you. Hawk, Hawkeye put a gun in his wife's mouth. Or that's what she alleged. I'll, I'll fucking say it send it to you. I saw it on the uh, official Jeremy Renner app. It yeah, was, uh, you could you could like <laughs> react to, to the Jeremy Renner TMZ, fan page. Jeremy where Renner put a gun in his wife's mouth, threatened to kill. Sorry, put a gun in his mouth, threatened to kill himself, and fired the gun into the ceiling. Zach, this sounds like a lie you'd specifically make up. So I, October nineteenth, it's October fourteenth. Look, according to the doctor, so yeah, was, he put a gun in his mouth and said, "I'm going to kill myself," and then shot into the ceiling of his house. Mm, that's that's not like my hero Hawkeye. I don't think Hawkeye would put a gun into his mouth. Actually, that sounds exactly like what Hawkeye would do. That's- that's what Hawkeye did to Thanos, to stop Thanos. He said, I'm gonna kill myself! Hawkeye, dude, relax, man. Lily <laughs> Tour, have you seen- have you seen Chilbo yet? Shilmo. Chilbo? Sh Chilbo. What is Chilbo? Chilbo. <laughs> you're a fucking liar. What is Chilbo? Whatever you're saying no, is not kidding. real. I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding. It was what? on the front page of Reddit like two days ago. Yeah. What is it? Did you not see it? Don't believe me. I didn't see it. <laughs> you don't even know what it is yet. <laughs> He's still making it up. No, 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 it's a new invention, I'm not kidding. Chilbo. And, and what does it do? What does it do, Zach? I was I could look at the whole thing. I feel like, I feel like you could explain it like really <laughs> briefly if it was a real thing. It's like yeah. a new invention that you attach to your phone. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And if you ever need like gaming knowledge, it sends you it sends you like a little JPEG of a gaming knowledge. And also, oh cool, and it's called Chilbo. <laughs> it's called Chilbo, yeah. Oh wow, okay. and, what a it, shitty brand but, name. But but but, <laughs> but yeah. if you talk into if you say. Uh, I, I need a GF, I need a GF, I need a GF, you say it three times. Yeah. It said you have JPEG of a really cute smiling girl. Oh. Yeah. I would like that. But it's called Chilbo, it's an app, uh, I think it's made by Apple. <laughs> an it's Apple an app made by Apple. It's an yeah, app yeah. made an by app Apple. Made by, oh yeah, my you can, God. you can buy it for $20 no. on the Apple store. Oh, fuck off! I was oh. getting my ring! See, if you had, oh. had Chilbo, you could have said, how do I get past the spike and taken a picture of it. That pees me off. You know who I haven't talked about in a while is weird, like, we used to always bring up Chris Bors and his shenanigans, but he, he totally went off the face of the earth. Yeah, ever since Minecraft Puppet Steve, I haven't really talked about him. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, you didn't hear what happened? No. What? In one of his rampant psychotic episodes, he ended up torching his... Uh, Minecraft Steve puppet. <laughs> oh, he did it. Yeah. Well, he was still having it on his hand. You freaking lied to me about something this week, so I'm not believing you. <laughs> what did I lie about? I'm trying to remember. Uh, it was fucking stupid. When you said Doug lied? Walker got a divorce, and I looked it up, and it didn't fucking happen. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> you, you lied to me. You can look it up on I did look it up look online. Look up, look up. He's happily married I for fucking look 50 up. years. You stopped a critic. He's been married to the same woman. He's faithful. He's been superimposed. <laughs> Now you're trapped between two ferns for the rest of your life. Oh, shit. This is the life you live. God damn it. <laughs> Corey, you're a liar. I'm not a liar. You are. You're a filthy goddamn liar. Liar, liar, plants for hire. Had a wife, <laughs> couldn't deny her. <laughs> Perfectly. How did you do that on the fly? I don't know. I can't guarantee it will work, though, if the cliff is really, really high.
Do you know what he's referring to? Getting really, really high. Th you got I it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All these deadbeats in here. They love their weed in Japan. It's such a big part of their culture. That's what Shigeru Miyamoto said. Ha ha ha, I did weed when I made Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> That this way he is green. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Smoke too terrible. many Pikmin. <laughs> Stop! You're giving the <laughs> oh. I got the the fairy slinger. What if what if he actually shot fairies out of the slingshot? That would be cool. Recent probably IGN pretty good. interview with Shigeru Miyamoto reveals he did drug when he made Mario. It's true. Oh. I did drug. Imagine if that if there were drug references. I in Mario. Ain't a lot. <laughs> Here's our interview. Mr. Miyamoto, why did you do drugs? I am a Japanese man. <laughs> <laughs> it removed the fungus from my shoes. <laughs> wow. I can't believe this delicate. very real interview <laughs> and not us doing offensive voices. I can't believe this played out. <laughs> Shigeru Miyamoto, why are you a racist? Because I, I hate every race. <laughs> it is fun to hate other race. Me, I'm greedy Japanese. The man. more moony, the more funny. Me have very big <laughs> Japanese nose. Whoa. That wow. was kind of fucked up. Okay. <laughs> kind of a bit too much there. Well, we're, we're ending our IGN interview. Um, th this was Shigeru Miyamoto. Shame on him for saying all those I things. I can't believe he said these things and... Not us. <laughs> Go to H. You too. <laughs> I it. like that after all that you, you avoided a swear word. You heard about Elton John and uh, Freddie Mercury though, right? What? Yeah. They both admitted they, they're not gay, they just do it for attention. <laughs> oh yeah, no, Freddie Mercury said it like two weeks ago. There was these kids that lived near me. They used to have this, well, they, they all had airsofts, but they also... They used to do this thing where they would, uh... What do you call it when you boil a pot above water? When you boil a pot above water? Yeah, boiling water in a pot. I guess uh, it would just be called boiling, boiling water. Boiling water? It was, a, it was a black pot. A cauldron? Yes, they had a- oh. They used to sit outside and, and have a little bonfire and boil this cauldron. <laughs> and they'd pour all these steel, like, BBs into it. And then there was this woman who used to rock back and forth in her chair and they'd just shoot at her with these, like, boiling hot BBs. <laughs> what the fuck? And then she died. That's terrible. That's the most Irish story. Wouldn't I've those ever BBs heard. already hurt without putting them in boiling water? <laughs> yeah, no, they, they like shot it into her eyes and she died. That's terrible. It just sounds like murder. <laughs> <laughs> Are you making that up? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just, just want to see your reaction to it. <laughs> I love the idea of Irish children just like... Whoa. I can't believe you believe that. <laughs> I'm sorry for trusting my friends. You should never trust me. Chris has one little man tattoo and one... Uh, Juana man tattoo on him. Oh my god. What? Uh, Jimmy Carter just killed himself. Oh you... <laughs> What? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Instantly knew you were lying. You weren't even on the tweet, you were scrolling while you said that. <laughs> you couldn't even, like, hold it steady. <laughs> Fuck you, Zach. Uh, that's a good lie, though. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucked up if, like, 93-year-old Jimmy Carter just, like, wrote a suicide note. Well, what would it say? I'm gonna shoot myself. My peanut farm got sick. My peanut farm withered. My peanut, my peanut farm? Peanut, my peanut farm Does withered. he have a peanut farm? Yeah, he's a, that's what he's famous for. He's a peanut farmer president. Oh. My peanut farm, I withered, I withered away, my peanuts went sour. That's fucking mean. I don't want to live no more, my peanuts went sour. You shouldn't say <laughs> you that. You your peanuts went sour. My peanuts went sour. I don't want to live no more, my peanuts went sour. <laughs> Jimmy Carter, why do you want to die? Why you, I want to freaking die because my peanuts went freaking sour. Why would he say that even? Oh, oh I'm pissed off. Did your peanuts Jimmy. go sour? That's wrong, Jimmy. Oh, freaking peanuts, my peanuts went so. sour. I don't think it's actually making this up. No, that's what he really said in the interview. I'm Fucking pissed. My penis was sour. What's wrong? Don't punch. Don't punch it, dude. I'm fucking pissed. My penis went sour. The queen was half crushing her girls. corgi's brains with her high heels. Wait, really? What? No, you fucking retard. <laughs> I don't that know. was an accident. The queen was crushing her corgi's head with high heels. You believe that, Tomar? <laughs> That's the most stupid. Okay, you I know just, what? You know what? I just really hope, because the queen's oh. getting old, I just really hope <laughs> she'd get away with it, because she's demented. Is there a tiny version of you flexing in the background? Oh, that's Herculad. That's his, like, sidekick. 
Oh yeah? Yeah, like he, he just cheers you on during the game. Okay, that's good. Is it really called Herculoid? Yeah. He's in the movie. Herculoid is- I've seen the movie before, he's not- there's no he Herculoid. He is in the movie! Herculoid? How do you no, not this remember is sounding, that? This is sounding really familiar. It's, it's, it's when he's like signing all the pictures and the guy's like, I'm Herculoid, I'm your biggest fan. He's like, you oh, can be my oh, sidekick. Oh, I thought you meant there was literally a smaller version of Hercules called Herculoid. No, that it, is it! That's what I'm talking you're about. He's not a clone, no, it's like just a guy dressed as Hercules. You no, it's a clone. It? It's a clone. It is not a fucking clone of Hercules in the movie. What are yeah. you talking about? There's, they, there's, they Las, go, there's Las Vegas we, and McDonald's, but there's not a fucking cloning machine. We got a mosquito that bit you and we cloned you! Welcome to Hercules Park! And they're all little we used to watch this movie all the time. <laughs> How do you not remember that? That that would be. I'd get sick if I saw that. That'd be like a good plot for a <laughs> sequel. Like there's a. That is not the. You collected Herculad, you monster. Yes. Yeah, no, that's the action figure. I think. <laughs> 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 I was almost with you. I was almost with you. Because there is a scene where a guy like, dressed as Hercules saying, I love you, Hercules. No, there's not. I made that up. No, there is a guy. There are kids dressed as Hercules in that movie. Chris, was... you've just gaslit Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I was up to a point. I was, really, I was even willing to believe that they were Hercules. <laughs> you were spotty cats, were you? <laughs> what is you f***ing funny cat? <laughs> that's what this is. I f knew, that's what I kept asking. I had a feeling Eddie's fought the zombies underwater like that. <laughs> and I also bet you spun that big horrible thing making the demon noise. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna show you how much fucking cats I spun. <laughs> Where did they all go? <laughs> Look, I had the, the cat egg was in my hand. I was going behind walls where you couldn't cat see. Cat egg? <laughs> you hiding cats everywhere. And there's, look, there's the, that, I got the bad egg from that guy. And every time you were looking already. Oh. <laughs> 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 I was going behind you every time. You completely invisible right there. I can't even see you. Just yeah. Were you yeah. also not keeping up ledges and shit? No, I didn't do that. Tomer actually did do that. That was Tomer. A couple times that ha I think that happened a couple of times. What are you talking about? I never knocked Zach off an edge. I thought you did that, Chris. No, I didn't. No, you, you can see it in the video here in a second. He starts swiping away at the bats because he gets really mad at them. You did that at the f Bob, by the way, didn't you? Uh -oh. No, I didn't. I swear to God, oh, I did not. There's like 15 bats literally flying around. Look at that. There's literally one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I'm just swinging at the bats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look, watch. He's swinging watch, at the I bats. I think this is where I fell into some water. I think I fell in the water right here. Wait, was that me? <laughs> that was you, Chris! Wait, was it? Well, I actually don't know. Go back. It looked like you hit him with the egg. Did I? No, 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 no. No, you right click to spawn bats. I was. Look, look at you here. Look. Hold on. I, I, don't, I actually can't tell. What? Yeah, I don't know. You guys both do a thing right there. Yeah, that's weird. You guys both swung your little thing. But yeah, every time you guys heard that, sh that shrieking thing, it was me doing the. Uh, you were spawning something? I was spawning this big f***ing ghost into a wall so it would die and scream. There it is again. What is going on, man? What if it's possible for a door opening to trigger TNT? Oh, there's you f***ing with Zack. <laughs> Destroying the entire building underneath it. Oh, that we took a piece out of that. Yeah, but I, you how did you undo it? How did you undo it? You just type you it undo. Just do undo like it says right there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't undo a TNT explosion. Yeah, you can't undo that. Yeah, I came up and I saw what Zach was doing here. <laughs> oh, see, I wasn't even doing anything at that point. You had the TNT in your hand. I saw. I saw you start. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You just immediately put it back, and Zach is just like, oh, yeah, well, that's normal. For you to argue it's anyone, that it's that not at least partially your fault, Zach. No, definitely not. I didn't, because I, I didn't even have the flint in my hands. There was a 0% chance I would have detonated that. Look, I was typing in brush fire. I was going to, like, scare you at one point. 
Rush. It was, you, Chris. Chris. It was Chris. Look. It wasn't. It wasn't. I swear. I you think you might be right. I think opening the door triggered it, or maybe. Look, it came in. Wait, was it me closing the door? Look, 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 it's that button right when I think you I think you hit it. I hit the door coming in. Oh, there's a button! It's because you walked over the button! Is it? It was Chris by accident. Yeah, look, it's the button. The, the button, button sets it off? Button, any, yeah, a button, legit, like, because it's a redstone triggerable thing. A button next oh, to it. Oh, it was! Oh, what the oh, second you walked over the man. button, it blew up! Oh my... Look how fast it happened, too! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I feel like I'm off the hook now. Yeah, <laughs> dude, this is the best part. Tomer, you were holding the flame. <laughs> you were. That was a bad look, Tomer. That was the most incriminating thing ever. Bro. It really wasn't me. And now this proof. The, my good name won't be Sully because of this Minecraft Let's Play. This is the best part. There, there's me claiming that what just happened was going to happen. Look, look, watch this part. Listen. Oh, is this you taking bites out of this? Yeah, this is definitely Chris. Oh, this was you. His like his flame brush. <laughs> What the hell? That, was like, oh my that made God, sense to me. I've, I've actually, like, the game look, like does look like that when, when you put a bunch of TNT down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only like 300 or 400 pieces. That was the missing <laughs> link. Oh my God. How does that make you feel, Zach? I lied to you for like four, five minutes like straight. <laughs> That's a strange thing. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> That's downright, That's downright bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> that right, bizarre. I do feel bad that uh, we blew it up, but at that point, yeah, that I, at, at this point, I didn't think it mattered anymore because this little penthouse was gone. Look, man, just because I don't point and scream like a gibbon when I see it doesn't mean I don't see it. <laughs> I mean, it was part of the contract. Was that aimed at the gibbon in the room? While yeah. you sign the contract. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly thought the gibbon would make more noise when we record. It just sits there. Yeah, it's actually surprisingly quiet. I, yeah, think, it's, I think it's depressed. I'm I didn't want to say it because I thought it would really bum you out, but the gibbon probably was a bad investment, Chris. I've said it before. It's getting a pet monkey is a really... It's from experience. Hey, getting a pet it, monkey is really stupid. It's biting in the wire back I've here. been gathering these scooters from Earth. Throw something at it. If anyone out there wants a gibbon, just uh, hit me up, I guess. Yeah, if anyone wants a clinically depressed gibbon. Just know that- If anyone wants a black market gibbon, yeah. secondhand. I'm not gonna lie, you're gonna get it, like, it's not ever gonna feel happy again because of the, the, because the state of, of the conditions we've put it in, but- What we've said to it- This guy's gonna do something- We have to clip what his fingers to, to stop him from, like, pulling wires and stuff. Yeah. He just has stumps for hands now. He has no teeth, no fingers, no eyes, no ears. Can I just take No nose. Me? No nose, no- no lips. No. Need to find we removed his vocal cords too. It's 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 kind of the equivalent of clipping a cat's fingernail. You know you know when they declaw the cats. Oh, so yeah yeah. I I think what we did was more humane than that. I thought it was, but he doesn't really seem happy. Well, he just lays there breathing. Well, if you can call that breathing. If you can call that living. <laughs> Sometimes dead is better. <laughs> Tomer, that was a good idea, though, to have, like, you know, the nutrients directly into his wrist rather than having to feed it. Yeah, but now he's too lazy to chew. I tried feeding him a cheeseburger earlier, and he just wouldn't take it. He just grabbed the needle again and put it, it in the other He's vein. full from the nutrients, so... Yeah. I guess. I mean, you know, it's funny. I, I just wanted to test him because I know how he could be, and I gave him... I, I just kind of coyly set down a... A revolver with no bullets in it. He immediately reached for it and tried to, you know, well, no pull fingers, the, pull so. the, pull the, exactly. Tried to do it anyways. No bullets inside, but it just was a little, little fun <laughs> psychological clarify. experiment. A nice little fun thing to see. just to yeah. just to show I the mean, human versus ape mind yeah, experiment. I'm ten steps ahead of it every day. <laughs> every day I try to play games with him and he loses. Okay, we got the sap drawers here. We never did give it a name. I, I think I once think you name it, best. yeah. Once you name it, you start getting attached. I definitely don't want that. Yeah, no. We we can't have it feel like it's one of us. Yeah, I it's kind of already on the way out. Let's let's be honest. We, we already offered it to somebody. Yeah, it's yeah, died yeah. seven times. We keep resuscitating it too. Yeah. And every time we do, it looks a little angrier that we did. It was a good call, having all of its nerves, like, <laughs> cut out, so we can't feel anything. Yeah, no, at least I don't have to feel as bad. 
And well, by the way, this is just science. If you eat the nerves, you you gain given mind. You gain given mind, which is what we've all been talking about since day we've one. We've ascended to the given mind. If you guys know us, they definitely one. the number one argument for obtaining a given. Yeah, Watch, is Chris, unlocking given mind. Chris, go ahead. Speak a little bit of given for us, just like a two seconds. Ooh. Just for the ladies and gentlemen at home. Ooh. Ooh. Now, if anybody doubts this again, realize what you're uh, realize what you're competing against. <laughs> If you are a competitor to our channel, you are literally <laughs> fucking with people that are biologically, genetically modified. You know what? Lyle won some, I won some, Omar won some, Chris won some. But you know who won the most? You guys, the, you uh, all the, out the there. Fans, the fans. And we just want to say thank you, you know. Lyle, like we, we said before, he's, he's dealing with boils, and so... <laughs> any dog, any... But Lyle's been dealing with boils. Tomar's got his, uh, his brain injury since the railroad thing happened to him. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm totally fine, so I'm worried about that. But yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people out there that are suffering, so on and so forth. And every dollar and penny you get, every just every time you guys watch, every time <laughs> that counts. So, but unrelated, Zach's train company is facing a class action lawsuit for <laughs> railway accidents. You're not allowed to bring that up. You're not. <laughs> you told me before the interview you weren't going to bring that up, but now you're bringing it up. That Iron Hadel train spike didn't really hold too good. Pierced Tomar's bra. 